Hey guys, we got something really new and interesting to play with today. It is called ceramic marking paper for fiber laser. Now what this means is if we take a portion of this, put it on the back of our ceramic mug here, we laser engrave and when we clean it away, it's supposed to leave behind the color that we used. Now we've never used this before. It is really exciting. I really want to see how this works out. So let's go and try. I wanted to add in this quirky uh, little design here. If you can see this, you probably have coffee on your lap. I thought it was quite a quirky one. Because it's on the bottom, we just need to make sure that it's going to fit within our circle radius as it is on the bottom of the mug. And we can see it will fit within a circle. So now we get rid of that. We get rid of our background because you've got to remember you have to have a PNG background because we're saving this as a bitmap and we only want the laser program to read our black writing. But before we do that, I want to make sure that my writing is the same size as our canvas. Otherwise, we're going to have an improportionate design on the screen because it'll pick up everything, not just your writing. So now that we've got that, all we need to do is go on over, save as, Make sure it's a bitmap, and we call this, and there we have it. Now that we've done that, we can head on over to our fiber laser, and let's start messing around. I'm very interested to see how this works. Okay guys, let me show you exactly what you need, but first, we need to choose the color paper we want. And as you can see, we've got so many different colors to choose from, but today, I want to use black. Next, we're going to need a mug to engrave on, some water for our paper, and a pair of scissors. And the most important thing is we need a fiber laser, like the old one we've got behind us, but today we're going to be using the new improved one, so let's get to our program. The first thing we need to do is prepare our mug and put it in place. We're going to switch our machine on, and now I need to prepare my paper and apply it to the mug. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly make a measurement of the size that I need. Okay. All right, now that we've got it cut, we now need to place it in our water, just like so, and it's gonna curl up immediately. And we're gonna leave that for a few seconds before we go and take it out again. And you'll see it will unfold first a little bit. Just make sure the water is moving inside. Now what you want to do is you're going to slide your ceramic marking off your paper as it is. You're not going to turn it around. Just slide it straight onto your mug, press it down a little bit. Now that's exactly where we're going to want it. You're going to take a cloth and we're just going to push out all the water and make sure this is all nice and dry before we do our engraving. Make sure that you don't push down too hard until it is completely dry, otherwise it just keeps moving around and you also crease your paper. You need to make sure that you push out as much as the water as possible with quite a lot of force once you've made sure it's not going to move around. Make sure you don't create any creases and you're going to want to leave it to dry for at least a few minutes before you start engraving. So I've pushed out as much as I possibly can now we're going to align it and do our settings while it dries. Now that I've had a few minutes for the mug to dry with that marking paper on it, I'm going to be using the settings as follows. Speed 50, power 80 and frequency 20. Next thing I need to do is make sure my red alignment is correct to where I want it to engrave and then we're going to push start. So let's quickly check if it's where we want it. Okay, now that that's aligned, I can now push start.
Okay, now there's a few things that you can do once that's done to clean it off. The first thing is to scrape it with a blade or run it underneath hot water. Now, I'm gonna do the hot water, so let's quickly go and do it. Okay, it seems like it is working, but I'm gonna need a blade to, in order to clean off the rest of this. So let's go and see if it works. Okay, you know what, they came out actually really well. It took a little bit of persuasion, but it's now clean and that looks quite, quite nice in my opinion. Well guys, after using this and testing out this really cool paper, I must admit, it does come out pretty cool and there are a few applications I can already think where I'd use this, such as if you're buying a present for someone and it's already got branding such like this one and you want to leave them a personalized message like this underneath, whether it be a bowl, anything ceramic, I think it's quite a nice idea. As well as if you've got a sublimation company and you like doing your mugs and you want to have your logo underneath without having it come off and having to do sublimation on the bottom, which is not easy, this is actually a great way to go and do it. And you've got so many colors, you've got so many choices. I have a question though. I want to see whether or not this actually works with a CO2 laser. But that'll be for another video. Thanks for watching.